I'm Melinda Bain, and today we are squaring off with Alex Cameron, Finance Committee Chair for the Windsor Public Library. Let's get to know you a little bit. Tell us a little bit about your background. Well, I recently completed my, uh, my MBA. I wrote my thesis on uh, the effect of intellectual property regimes on transfer pricing. Uh, before that, I had a, a long career in manufacturing, over 20 years, um, and at the end of my manufacturing career, I focused mainly on project management of technical projects. Electric cars, MROs? I did. I was involved in, uh, in an electric car project with uh, BG Automotive. I tried to bring BG here to Windsor to, uh, to set up a, a facility that would uh, assemble uh, Chinese vehicle chassis. We would mount up um, electric motors and battery systems into very much very similar to the project that's uh, currently being proposed for Windsor for buses. How did you come to be appointed to the library? Was there an interview or an application process? Yeah, I submitted a, an application just like everyone else. Uh, the uh, the process came forward. I filled out an application for the Board of the Transit Windsor and the Board of the Windsor Public Library. Why did you want the position? Uh, I wanted to get more involved in my community. Um, I wanted to do a little bit more, um, I guess, community service to just get a feel for it. How do you know Council Mikey? I've known Al for um, quite some time, probably five or six years. Um, and when Al decided that he was going to run for city council, uh, I told him that I'd be happy to help him with his campaign. Uh, he always seemed like a, a nice guy to me, and that's how I got involved with Al, basically uh, more deeply involved when he started uh, running for uh, city council. Did the other board members know about your uh, friendship with him? I suspect so, yeah. I, I, I don't know that it was a secret friendship. How did he uh, obtain the library card? The library credit card? Um, well, the library credit card would have had to have been issued by somebody with a signing authority. So that would have been either somebody um, in, in the role of, uh, in the finance department specifically would have had to do it because they would be the, the only people that had access to, uh, to the bank accounts, to the records. Um, it may or may not have taken some sign off from an executive, but uh, I can tell you that it certainly never came before the Windsor Public Library Board for approval. So you had no role in issuing the credit card? No, absolutely not. I had no authority to to uh, approve any such transaction. Anyone on the finance committee object? Well, I don't know that they could object because it never came before the finance committee for approval. So in fairness to the members, um, the card had been issued, um, and it was issued without approval from any member of the board or any member of the committee. Were you aware at any time that Councillor Magny was authorized by the CEO to use his card? No, I did not know that. When did you first find out about the councillor's improper spending? Well, the councillor um, had some expenditures in his November and December expense reports. They came before the Finance Committee for approval after they had been processed by the Accounting Department. Um, so I'm not, I, I'm, I'm not too familiar with what happened in the reconciliation process, but what I can tell you is that two expense reports came um, to my attention. Um, and each report for November and December, the period ending in the year 2011, um, was attached with a reconciled report and it also had a check that was written by Councillor Magny for his personal portion. Um, and I think it's, it's important to point out that, you know, in the context of money and public money, every dollar has to be accounted for. So even if somebody had some expenditures that were of a personal nature, and it could be something very simple like, let's say you rented a movie. You know, you, you got a hotel room, you rented a movie, a totally G movie, you know, uh, Bambi or something, um, but it wasn't covered by library policy. In that case, um, that person would be required to reimburse the library for the cost of that movie. So. In the accounting for personal expenses, there absolutely needs to be a process and it needs to be accounted for in accordance with the generally accepted accounting procedures. The board ever told prior to April 17th there were problems in respect to the credit card? And about March 27th, uh, in, towards the end of March, um, the auditors had been conducting their review, their year-end review, and I did get a note from one of the auditors saying that there was an issue with the expenses and they wanted to meet um, to discuss them, to, to, to basically discuss the compliance issues that they found. But it never came before um, the formal board, if you will. Why weren't other board members who were not at the Finance Committee meeting informed? Why did they have to wait until I have no idea. Hey, there's a strange entry, entry for April 18th. The Finance Committee Chair insists on being sent information that he already received and referred yes. to at a Finance Committee meeting. Why would you insist on getting something we already have? What I was insisting on getting were minutes from the meetings that the library held in early February. 
And in those meetings, uh, specifically at the Finance Committee, we were asking about the level of reporting disclosure that we needed as a committee of finance people. Um, there was a lot of reports that would go around that went into really deep detail to do variance analysis on very small accounts. So if you had an account that was worth $200 and it was out $50, that would show a 25% margin of error, which looks huge because all you see is the percentages. So um, what we did was try and set up a framework so that we could kind of consolidate all the information that we got. Um, at the same time, Councillor Payne suggested that we didn't need to see the board members' expenses, that they didn't need to come before the committee, and that was the information that I was looking to get, was verification of those minutes to see exactly what we had passed and to verify that we hadn't changed the reporting requirements for expenses of board members or the CEO.